Sir, how Smith machine is great at sticking point while exercising dumbbells or barbells? Okay. Smith machine. Chest press. Alright? You want to know how this Smith machine chest press will help us to overcome sticking point. Sticking point caused by barbell bench press. Caused by barbell bench press or dumbbell presses. Right? So basically what is sticking point? Uh, whenever you want to go from eccentric to concentric phase means uh, from horizontal shoulder abduction to horizontal shoulder adduction right so this is the moment joint of action right now whenever you are trying to go from eccentric to concentric you will have failure you are not able to push your muscles are not able to generate the force to complete the joint of action right that sticking point is somewhere 3 cm to 15 cm right and you need to overcome this sticking point so obviously whenever you want to train smith machine chest press this is going to help you to add a little extra weight than uh, barbell bench press right so that extra added weight requires more force so what is force? Force is equal to mass you added, right? Little extra weight you can add in the Smith bench press into acceleration. Right? Now, whenever you added little extra weight, this will demand more force, little extra force, and this extra force will recruit type 2 fibers and these type 2 fibers which are recruited with practicing again and again with this Smith machine chest press will help you to overcome the sticking point right anything else sir some people talk about the chest press workout recruits a secondary muscle such as triceps and anterior deltoid okay see the term you use there recruit so while doing this joint of action, the muscles are not recruited at that joint of action. Muscles groups are activated, right? Suppose you are doing, as I mentioned, this is a horizontal shoulder adduction, right? So shoulder, your elbow is extended at this point. So this will obviously involve your tricep, right? And when you are coming in uh, horizontal shoulder abduction, your deltoid is going to take over the load. Right? So these muscle groups have to work according to joint of action. Anything? Some believe Smith chest press machine recruits a less less stabilizers. Okay, so you want to understand stabilizers then. See. Firstly, you should know what are the mobilizers. And stabilizer. Because what happens, people are mixing up muscles, they call muscles mobilizer, also they call stabilizer. So that should not be happening. Okay, so you must differentiate what is mobilizer and what are stabilizers. So this mobilizer origin from mobilizer origin from clavicle and scapula right and they should insert on numerous or forearm right so these are mobilized what are the stabilizer the stabilizer should be originally from skull spine or rib cage and they should insert on scapula or clavicle right let me uh, give you an example suppose 
here is your scapula right and you have humeral head here okay now let's understand a deltoid muscle so we can understand mobilizer and stabilizer so deltoid muscles are posterior fibers rear delt origins from lateral end of the spine of the scapula lateral end of the spine of the scapula inserts on deltoid fibrosity middle fibers origins from this acromion process right so and inserts on the deltoid fibrosity at front we have clavicle right and the anterior fiber coming from lateral end of the clavicle and they insert onto the deltoid fibrosity now let's understand what are these muscle group are they stabilizer or mobilizer so what what is the definition of the mobilizer they should come from clavicle or scapula so this is clavicle right so anterior fibers are coming from clavicle they should go on humerus so these are inserting onto the humerus so they are the mobilizers middle deltoid coming from scapula going on to the humerus this is coming from scapula going on to the humerus posterior deltoid coming from the lateral end of the spine of the scapula this is coming from this scapula going on to the humerus so this muscle group is called mobilizer, mobilizer. what are the stabilizers then suppose this is your skull here okay and these are your vertebral column in more detail you will have to understand then you come and attend the classroom lectures regular classroom lectures or practicals right now this is skull and then we have the occipital bone here these upper fibers of the trapezius coming from the occipital bone and go and attach on to the lateral end lateral end of the clavicle so what is the definition of stabilizer they should origin from skull they should be inserting on scapula or clavicle so these upper fibers are attaching on clavicle coming from the skull so what are these stabilizers stabilizers okay then uh, let's take rhomboid minor major right c7 then t1 t5 okay these fibers attaches on to the medial border of the scapula right and these are rhomboid muscle originating from spine so rhomboid right originating from spine so stabilizer origins from spine they insert on the scapula they insert on the scapula so two example i have given so this clarifies the stabilizers are different and the mobilizers are different so they have to work accordingly and if what was your question uh, smith chest press machine recruits a less stabilizers okay see now whenever you are doing a uh, chest press machine right whenever you are doing a uh, chest work or bench press the stable you can't say the less stabilizers sorry your main stabilizer uh, of the of this joint of action is serratus anterior coming from ribs i mentioned here stabilizer arises from skull spine or rib cage okay so serratus anterior coming from uh, your first eight ribs zigzag right and it goes and attaches on to the medial border of the scapula so this is a stabilizer because it origins from rib cage okay but what is serratus anterior muscle this is a boxer muscle this is what boxer muscle this pulls your 
scapula anteriorly in protraction, right? So, uh, why it is called boxer muscle? Because it produces the maximum force. So, it, this uh, serratus anterior helps you to punch harder. So, whenever you want to uh, punch harder or you want to overcome the sticking point, what you require? Maximum force. Right? And that is complied by uh, serratus anterior muscle, which is stabilizers. So, while doing or pushing even 50 pounds, you can't say the stabilizers are non functional. They have to work. Clear? Some German literatures have mentioned the middle deltoid plays the role of stabilizers. Okay, so journal have mentioned in as per your understanding that middle deltoid plays the role of stabilizer. Stabilizers. Middle deltoid cannot be stabilizer. As I mentioned, middle deltoid origins from the acromion process and this is a part of scapula. So what is the theory of mobilizer? They should origin from scapula. Okay, so this is scapula. So middle deltoid plays a role of mobilizer. Don't try to confuse. Okay, mobilizers are mobilizers. They will not become stabilizers and stabilizers are going to be stabilizers. The only problem, these people who have studied in different institutions, they are not given this education. That is the reason they are failed to understand these things. More details about the Smith press machine and the sciences of workout will be covered in your practicals. Thank you very much.